The head also has an interesting joint for the eye. You easily open it up by removing its scalp. Then you take this little thingy, um, Bana included. Actually, I think two were included. One part is for, yeah, one side is for separating parts. It's like thin. I guess I could have used it to separate its scalp. You basically slide it in between two parts and it makes it easy to separate them if you like maybe mismatched some parts. Either way, the part we need for this is the mm, teeth side I guess. Just slide it in here and you can easily move the eye around for a somewhat limited range but that's all you really need. You could of course also do it without the little thing, but it's a lot easier to do with it. Just pops back on like that and easily attaches back onto the body. There, that's all for Sharzaku. Now the question is, do you want to buy this? Well, that would actually be a valid question, considering its pros and its cons. First of all, it has very limited articulation, and it could use some color touch-ups. The positive side is, the joints, even though they are limited, they actually hold really well. Partially because uh, Bandai has used some sort of system where they kind of like click in place. So they're really secure. Also the weapons, well the two that are included anyways, won't really fall out of the hands because they're pegged in with quite big pegs. Um, another positive is they kind of like include a little manual on how to make Gumpla. And if you want to do some touch-ups um, they kind of include a little Dengeki hobby magazine, which is a quite popular hobby magazine in Japan. Well, I said quite, but I think it's probably like one of the biggest ones. Either way, on one side, they kind of go over how you should detail your Zaku. Like, I guess you could call this the advanced part. We're going to start at the yeah, end. For a normal Japanese magazine is like the real basics, how to cut them up the runners, how to clean them up, how to apply the water slide decals. I guess you could also call it an upside because this kit, rather than the normal um, rub transfer ones or peel off stickers, this actually comes with a nice sheet of water slide decals. Yeah, I guess you don't have to buy those and if you want to apply water slide decals. Guess they're not ripping you off. And uh, this time with that, as for other accessories that are included, you get two closed fists. Yeah, very close and don't really serve any purpose other than being a fist on your mobile suit. Really want him to have a fist. Um that, yeah, that would be a negative side then. As for accessories. You only get the Zaku machine gun, the heat hawk, and four pairs of hands. Well, I guess it could include the commander antenna. You can take it off, stick it on something, spray paint it red, and say it's three times as fast. Actually, that did work when I tried it on my computer. It suddenly booted up three times as fast. And then it crashed three times as fast. Damn you, Windows. Hey, Luke is back on his shoulder. It's one of my few lolly figurines. Uh, I told you I'd come back, eventually. Now all I need is some psycho new type to suddenly pop into the screen. Yeah, I guess he was also attracted to that, wasn't he? Like lollies and, I guess, mental new types. 
Oh god, I should have kept quiet. A lot of strange things have been happening since this guy got here. But that's none of your concern. I have to deal with it, not you. Another bright, well, positive part is they kind of like made it easy if you're new to Gunpla. You can kind of take two runners and just instead of assembling the parts, you kind of assemble the runners, making it easier to build it, I guess. I didn't use it because I, I don't know, it seems kind of hard to try to remove the, yeah, those little parts they use to connect the part to the runner the runner attachment parts. Let's call it that. It's kind of hard. I think it's kind of hard to remove them once you have the two parts already connected. But if you like just want to, I don't know, assemble it quick and have some parts remaining. Because I did make them rather thin. So yeah, I guess we'll call it a plus one. Gotta give him some credit, right? So would you want to buy it for 60 euros? Well, I kind of bought him for the novelty. I already had the mega size Gundam, so I kind of wanted to have a little adversary. I mean, it's an iconic mobile suit. One of the two iconic mobile suits of Gundam, other than the Gundam itself. So yeah, and they are on sale now at HLG. They're off 42%, so... I say, yeah, if you want to get it, get it now at HLG while they're Promotion still lasts, I mean, eh, 40% oh, that's quite a lot, so now probably the best buy I'd ever get for this guy, because I don't know, 60 euros, if you consider the horrible maneuverability, no real gimmicks, other than the moving eye, if you could call it that, I mean, for 60 euros, they could have included a light of eye, I mean, if you look at the 160 scale wing zero, like the real Wing Zero, not Wing Zero Custom. I mean, that was a lot cheaper and it had a light up chest. This thing doesn't light up anywhere. It does feel kind of sturdy. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, also, some additional movement. The shoulders kind of move back and forth. Oh, damn, there goes a lolly. And there you have it. I ended the movie with the death of a lolly. Always a great way to end a movie. Or review, that is.